Whatever you do, please don't microwave anything you're about to see at home. What about Hot Pockets? It's supposed to be okay. What about popcorn? Shut, Shut up, up, Riley! Hello and welcome to... Is, Is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Jory Carrot. I love highlighters and books, Riley McElwain. Today we're going to be microwaving these highlighters. You may not remember this, but way back in episode 60, we microwaved highlighters. We were so impressed with the highlighting explosion capabilities of it that we joked, wouldn't it be cool if we put this in there with a book and it highlighted all the good parts for us? So we chose John's favorite book, Twilight. Plus it'll highlight the good parts like, you know, Ashley Green's breasts. Oh, I love Ashley Green. It smells like victory! All hands to the deck. Nobody likes roasted nuts. <laughs> you got that on camera, right? I don't trust this bitch. Are you out of your mind? The masks, they do nothing! You totally could have died. You put a shield that three Stop it, stop it! Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Microwave Laboratory 3.5, safety is our number one concern. Tinfoil shield protects our nuts. Nobody likes roasted nuts. Fan, circulate the air. We like breathing. Feels good. That was a demonstration. We have a brand new microwave over here. What is her name? Uh, Gina. Gina. I love Gina. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, whoa. What do you got there? This one's, uh, if there's a pamphlet in the field, play ball. We don't need no stinking manual. Microwaving professional right here. Professional, okay? So let's put all this stuff in the microwave. Jory, why are the highlighters between the pages of the book Twilight? Big boom, splatter. Were those particular passages you loved? Never okay. read the book. Oh, okay. Watch a movie. All right. So how long should we put them in there for? Four minutes. There's four movies, right? Uh, oh. Come on, you can figure out Gina. Gina! Okay, their side <laughs> spots are all over the place. So back in experiment six, we saw the highlighters exploded all over the place, but this time we need to see if it'll actually explode and make some like Picasso-like art all, all about this stupid novel that little girls everywhere seem to really love. Uh, little insecure boys too. How would you know that? Huh? What was that? Fanboy says what? Because I've dated. Uh, what was it? Fanboy. <laughs> oh, nice! It totally exploded. Whoa! And there's the other explosion. Okay, that's about it. Wait, turn the microwave off, it's still going. Yeah. Oh, this is the devil. Ready? All right, I here we go. Wow, look at that. Technicolor. Highlighters are awesome. I didn't even touch the book. Sure it did, they exploded inside. Whoa, no, what do you get there? Outwards, didn't they? It's like a put rave. It the, put it on the doll thing for hair. It's a clown now. Oh. What, do I amuse you? <laughs> Looks like cotton candy now. That is so crazy. What is in highlighters? That was the first time I came here. I wrestled all my, We. I wrestled all what? This book is so sexual. I mean, it didn't even... Bella's a slut. It just, just did the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, yeah, this is our it. favorite page. Can you tell? <laughs> it's like, it's like Spider-Man came on this one. <laughs> Golden shower of Spider-Man. <laughs> It's pretty cool, like a disco color in there. Disco, disco. Where'd the orange come from? Uh, yellow and It pink mixed them together. To make orange. So you may be wondering, is it a good idea to microwave Twilight Book and highlighters? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. That was Actually, harmless. I harmless. would say it's okay to microwave it without the Twilight Book. Because no. it still no. makes it look... No. Technicolor rainbow. Technicolor awesome in there. Yeah. Imagine if you filled the whole thing up with them. Put a shirt in there, tie-dye. Woo! Oh, you're done. You're done. That's about it for this episode of Is This a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. I'm your second round, Mike Ellen. <laughs>